Hello my YouTube subscribers, I'm here with another... Actually, today, I got something in the mail. Now, a lot of my YouTube subscribers don't know that recently, it was my birthday, not too long ago, and uh, my brother went over to S&G to get me something, and apparently S&G uh, chipped in with him. A birthday card from your brother. Happy birthday from my brother and S&G. And uh, this is what they got me. It is the Tugboat RDA. Now, I was going to open this up and be all surprised on camera, but as soon as I got it, I was like, what the f is this? So I tore it open and I looked at it and I thought, you know, I have not ever seen a, an atomizer like this. So I wanted to figure out what I got. And uh, this is actually a pretty interesting um, RDA. It is a rebuildable dripping atomizer. I'm going to put it on here and give you a vape. I've been vaping um, Gluttony with it, and I've been vaping Capone, and um, I think I got some Gluttony in here. And uh, I'll just show you how it works. Now, I got a fresh 18650 on here, but uh, I'm going to mention something about the, the two batteries that I have. So uh, let's go ahead and give it a pull. And it vapes actually really, really good. Now it's got, um, I put it together with um, two uh, twisted coils, 28 gauge twisted coils, uh, eight wrap twisted coils, which is pretty good. It's got um, 4, 0.4 ohms of resistance. And uh, it's pretty nice. I'm going to show you the inside here in a second. It's producing vapor pretty good. Now I'm going to take this apart. Show you the inside. I'm going to do kind of like a an unbuilding. I thought what I would do is I would unbuild it and then uh, rebuild it because uh, it's kind of fun to build on. So I'm going to take it apart piece by piece. It is a little used. We've got the uh, drip tip that comes with it and it is uh, serialized and it's got a little tugboat image on the front. This is about the only thing I don't like about this RDA right now is this is plastic. I don't know why they decided to go with plastic right here. I, I don't like that. I just don't like plastic right there. And then we got this chamber here. On one side is uh, an American flag. On the other side is a tugboat. And then uh, on the inside, you can see on the inside, it is, uh, it's pretty smooth. It does have a small lip inside there. And it's got quite a big, uh, quite a big reservoir, you'll see here. And then it's got uh, two holes. You can only go dual coil with this unless you wanted to drill uh, other holes. But it's only a three-prong post which you see right here so it's got three prongs in there you can see my two uh, eight coil uh, 28 gauge twisted coils uh, so it's got three prongs in there now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it apart and then uh, I'm gonna recoil it but uh, man, I'm gonna get one more vape on it because I think it vapes pretty good this is my first build I had I had this twisted coil uh, laying around for my previous uh, twisted coil build and uh, I just wanted to throw it in there and see how it vaped and uh, it's doing alright. I'm fairly certain I can get it better. I could probably go pure VG too and just get it to just absolutely chug vapor. That's pretty good though. So I'm going to cut this, I'm going to disassemble it, wash it out, and show you the, all the insides. Okay, so here's everything that came in the box. Well, a little baggy, I guess. Came in a little baggy like this. This one, right here. This is the actual baggy right here. Came in with this little baggy right here. This is all that came in. Came with uh, four screws. These are for the posts. Came with the base. The uh, drip tip. And uh, I guess the reservoir shell, whatever this is called. This has actually got some really good uh, build quality in it. And I like the design. Um, I think this is called Media Blast. It's kind of, um, it's not very shiny. 
just kind of looks uh, a little bit dulled, but not like brushed steel. Mine came with a copper post, and I've been trying to find where these are sold with a copper post. Um, I, I found you can actually buy the copper post. Um, I also found that there is a naval brass edition that comes with a copper post, but this isn't naval brass. So I don't know why mine has a copper post, but I like it. It's better than stainless steel. And um, that it has something to do with the uh, uh, voltage drain, which I will get into in just a little bit here. And uh, you can see the, the reservoir here is really deep. That's how deep it is, right there. Which is actually really deep. And it will hold... Um, I think around one and a half milliliters of fluid and when you got a whole bunch of cotton in there that's I think that's great a um, bunch of wick in there would be awesome so I like the reservoir uh, another thing I really like about this is that this is actually pretty tight it's got one o-ring on it and that's all that's needed it actually came with oh I forgot a second o-ring so I got a, a spare o-ring and a spare screw. Now like I said before, the one thing I really don't like about this is that this is plastic and uh, that just has to do with the heat that can come off of uh, the coils and um, how much heat's produced can warp plastic um, drip tips. I've had plastic drip tips melt on me because of the heat. Uh, so far this one's holding up. Um, maybe it's a, a different type of plastic. I don't really like it, but uh, thankfully I don't have to use this if it ever starts uh, warping on me. Okay, so it took me a little bit longer than I expected to uh, rebuild the tugboat here. Um, I was experimenting and not all of my experiments went as planned. What I ended up doing is just... Um, twisting another two 28 gauge coils together to make a twisted coil and then I did something a little bit differently what's the size here this is a 7 64 inch screw right here and this is what I used to wrap my coils around to make the actual coils so they are actually pretty thick they're pretty uh, barely and they're pretty wide and then I raised them up a little bit you can see that they they are a little bit higher uh, than the cup here or the the reservoir that's intentional when I put this when I put the uh, cap on it's gonna be flush with the bottom and uh, if I could show you I would but it's awfully dark in there it's gonna line up perfectly with the coils and that's what I wanted I wanted them to be a little bit higher and then I wanted them to be a little bit thicker so I could stick more cotton in there let more cotton sit in the uh, reservoir and uh, just try and get more out of it. I did kind of wear down my battery a little bit doing this, but um, let's wick it up and uh, see how she vapes. All right, guys and girls, let's take a look at my wicking job. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I stuffed this motherfucker with, with cotton. It is, it's stuffed. I put a lot of cotton in here this time, and uh, that's because I wanted the holes big, I wanted all that cotton to get filled up, um, and I just wanted to see how it would vape with uh, all this cotton. And uh, do I not have an e liquid? Sure, I do. Oh, yeah. Chai Chai Smooth. Rough Rider. Of course, I got an e liquid. I got a bunch of e liquids. Strawberry Decadence. Um, I haven't done Peaches and Dream yet. Let's, let's do Peach and Dreams. Let's open this up and see how she vapes and how she tastes. And uh, I'll maybe do a full review on this one. So I'm going to saturate this wick. Look again, there's a ton of wick in here. Now I may have used too much wick, to be honest. Maybe. I have not decided on that yet. We're going to find out. But I really wanted this to have a lot of wick in there. And uh, I may not have plugged the holes good enough, but I guess we'll see. To be honest, I think this battery needs to be replaced. 
and uh, my other battery is almost fully charged but um, let's just see how she kicks out vapor to start with that's pretty good oh boy that is actually really good look at that oh man that's really good uh, I think it has something to do with the stainless not the stainless steel the copper post um, the stainless steel isn't as good as copper isn't as good as silver isn't as good as gold um, in terms of how conductive it is uh, the way I understand it. So, uh, let's give her a blast. And boy, she plumes. Oh, that's hitting pretty good. Little, uh, little hard on the throat hit. I want to adjust it, but there's no adjustability to it. Um, boy, that was a big cloud right there. For me, anyway, that was a pretty big cloud. I am going to try and um, put the air holes so that they're hitting the center of those uh, big fat coils that I made. It was a much smoother vape right there. Pretty cloudy too. That's pretty good. I like this because it is really easy to just pour uh, e-liquid right in there. The reservoir is going to hold it. And because I have such a huge amount of wick in there this time, you know, it's, the wick is going to absorb it and hold on to it without uh, any spillage. Pretty good, pretty good. Even with this battery a little bit uh, half dead. Now, like I said before, was this? This is a 764 inch screw. I don't know what that is in the metric system. Sorry. Um, so it's gonna have a, a bigger hole. Um, I kind of like that. Um, at least with this build. I want to tell you something about this uh, atomizer right here. This is an expensive atomizer. It's really expensive, what I think. Um, I, you know, I looked online because I had never seen it before, so I had to find out, you know, what atomizer has a steamboat on it is where I went with it first. Well, it's the tugboat, and it's by Flawless. And uh, I think it's around $80. 80 bucks right here. That is a really smooth, plumy vape right there. Really happy with this build right now. It is seven wraps of uh, this 28 gauge twisted coil. I went with seven wraps, and I think it's around point. Let's check the resistance. Point five ohms. It's half an ohm of resistance. Um, I. I gotta say I like it. I never would have bought this thing. There's there's no way in hell I would spend eighty dollars on an atomizer. But I do like it. Um, it seems to me it because of the reservoir, um, it's going to be easy to vape with and uh, not have to worry about constantly uh, putting vapor in or e liquid in. It's really easy to refill. Man, this thing is airtight. This holds on really tight. This holds on really, really tight. But it's not overly tight. At least, you know, I don't think it's super, super tight. I don't think it's too tight. And uh, I think I got the build that I wanted. Really smooth. I want to make sure that these air holes are pointing into 
the holes, the big holes that I made for my coils. So, yeah, man. Really enjoying this. I think my battery is dying, and the other one's just about full. I want to change batteries really soon, to be honest. Um, oh, there's something I wanted to mention about uh, voltage drop. Now, I did a little bit of testing with my, what the fuck is this called? Smoke Omni Tester. Smoke Tech Omni Tester. And this 18650 from EFEST was a 1500 milliamp hour battery. Um, it's got uh, 12 amps, so it'll handle 0.5 ohms. Drops about a, uh, an entire volt when uh, vaping on this. However, the other, hold on a second. This one, which is a Sony uh, lithium ion uh, battery, it's got 30 amps and it is a, um, it's protected. So it's kind of safer in mods like this. Has, um, last time I checked, it was just like a half a volt of uh, resistance drop. What we're actually going to do is see just how charged up this one is because I want to rock this one, I think. And honestly, I think it has to do with the copper pin in the middle. So I'm going to turn this on to volts. Boom. Volts. So it says 4.2 volts right there. My hand is in the way. 4.2 volts. I'm going to put on the tugboat. I want to call it a steamboat, but it's a tugboat. And uh, let's see where it's at right now. 3.6. That's 0. 0.6. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. 3.5, 3.2. What was it? Am I looking at it wrong? 3.5. Not the same. It is not the same uh, resistance drop or voltage drop. It's actually uh, less. And it. I think it's even less when this is fully charged. So um, if you ask me, that's pretty badass. It's better. Much better. It's really smooth right now. I like that. Twist it over a little bit. And uh, should get more throw hit. Oh yeah, Peaches and Dream is actually pretty tasty. And uh, this should just hold on to um, e-liquid for a while. Like I'm just gonna fill this up really quick and see just how much it'll hold on to before it starts uh, leaking at all. None. None, but that's probably because I put so much freaking cotton in there. My God, I put cotton in there. There we go. One more vape on the tugboat. Fantastic. I love it. So this is my birthday present, and this is the atomizer I'm going to be vaping on from now on. Uh, at least until I get sick of it and get another one. <coughs> hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> now if you like this video, go ahead and click like. Uh, feel free to share this video if you think it will help someone else. And as always, you know, feel free to leave a comment. I do try to respond to all my commenters. And if you haven't clicked subscribe, go ahead and click subscribe now. I'll be doing more videos in the future. Until next video, bye.